for months we've had to go around carefully cutting out bits of vine or removing complete vines. Once this product's gone in, we just don't do that anymore. All of a sudden we can get back to growing kiwi fruit and it just transforms completely the growing environment for us. I mean, it's like we can farm again. Um. Stump after stump. Kiwi fruit grower Rob Thode is excited, and for good reason. He's convinced he's finally found it, a cure for PSA. The bacteria that has plagued kiwi fruit growers in the North Island for over two years now. One of the more lucky ones, Rob Thode still has a third of his orchard in Tapuki left. Now plants he says he had given up on are coming back to life. So here originally there was virtually no growth, um, just these bottom leaves. So ETF's gone in and the vine's just taken off and you're seeing enormous growth. Everything I'm seeing is just so dramatically different from anything I've seen for two years. I mean, we've seen lots of snake oils and all sorts of remedies, none of which have produced anywhere near the kind of results that I'm seeing with this product. The product he's excited about is a fertiliser from Italy called Yeti F, which uses nanotechnology and is being imported by Parasm Technology in the Bay of Plenty. Mixed with silver compounds, copper and iron, it improves the health of the plant, making it easier for it to photosynthesise, and it's administered by injecting the vine four times in two weeks. It's been trialled for the last nine months in Italy, where scientists have been fighting the disease since 1992. Another grower in the region, Fred Harvey, says he saw the results firsthand when he went to Italy to investigate their practices. The Yeti uh, spray which they are using, they, I don't know if, if, if it's the same name, name as the, the one I saw, but I, I presume it was because it, it was nan nanotechnology and it was in trial stages. They were going through this second season with it. Unofficial trials of the product have been taking place in New Zealand for around four months now and Mr Thode says although he's waiting for Zespri's approval to use the product on his female vines, other growers he knows who have been trialling it were so impressed with the results they've injected it throughout their entire orchards. But Kiwi Fruit Vine Health CEO Barry O'Neill is playing down any suggestions it's a cure for PSA. Well, uh, firstly, I don't believe there is a single cure for PSA. We've tested over 300 products in our um, science program, and there's only four groups of compounds that we've found that have had a beneficial impact on PSA. He says although he's had good feedback from growers about YETF, they shouldn't get their hopes up until an official trial has been done and it's approved by Zespri. So the growers that have used it, which are the uh, minority uh, compared to the wider growing uh, community in New Zealand, there is claims that there has been improvement in the vines that have been treated with this product. Um, whether that improvement is as a result of the vines being healthier and therefore growing better, i.e. the product is working as a fertiliser and generally improving the health of the vine, or whether it has any impact on PSA itself, is uh, too, too early to say. The cost per injection is $8, so depending on how many vines a grower has, it costs around four dollars to $10,000 a hectare, a cost Rob Thode is happy to bear if it means his vines do too.